This is kind of crazy news. I mean, honestly, I don't think anyone expected that this is happening now. Uh, one of the biggest car companies in the world is setting up a mass production, not a pilot line, actual production line for solid state batteries in China today. Now, what is the energy density of these batteries? Are these solid state batteries revolutionary? Well, not yet quite, but um, this is still incredible news. Here is the details of the world's first mass production battery line for solid state batteries. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. I can't wait for solid state batteries to be here. I think that um, it's going to be great for the industry. You know, they won't be in all cars. They'll be in just more higher priced vehicles, at least for the first five, six years. But after that, we're going to see solid state batteries in more affordable electric cars, providing ranges that will put it this way. 2035, internal combustion is being banned in Europe. No one will care. No one will care in 2035 because you'd have to be an idiot to want to buy an internal combustion car in that year. 10 years from now, the entire automotive industry will be completely different and it's going to be absolutely mind-blowingly cool. So what is cool? What's going on right now? Well, first of all, Cherry, they are saying that their new EV has a solid state battery. Now, a lot of people were like skeptical, is this real? But news came out today saying Cherry are building the world's first gigawatt hour level all solid state battery production line in Wuhu Anhui province. The Anhui Daily reported that containers of equipment were delivered on November 18 to the factory site located in the Wuhu Economic and Technological Development Zone, says Car News China. This is like big news in China right now. Multiple media sources are reporting this is happening. But the Chinese are kind of excited. So this is actually really good publicity for Cherry and for EVs, EV makers in general. The first phase of the project covers 100,000 square meters and it's a new solid state battery industrial park, which has been developed by three different companies joined together. But Cherry essentially controls this company. There is another shareholder though, which is interesting, which is Goshon High Tech. Goshon High Tech is one of the biggest battery companies in the world. It's much, much smaller than BYD or Cadle, but they have their own lithium ion phosphate batteries, which are extremely high energy density, very advanced batteries. Goshon High Tech had a contract to build a mega battery factory in, I believe, Michigan. They actually went, bought the land, began to build the the site, and then the town fired the mayor, fired all the government staff so they could cancel the contract, cancel this contract. And now Goshen High Tech is at, in court with the local township, with basically the, the entire town. They're fighting it because they invested a lot of money into this. And now that, that deal has been canceled. Now Goshen High Tech, is owned partly by the Volkswagen Group. The Volkswagen Group own about 30% of the company. This site though, getting back to Cherry, will hold a five gigawatt hour solid state battery R&D center and an integrated and automated production line. They're saying the production line is gonna be you know, quite fast. This is not some sort of boutique people making these batteries. This is actually automation. With a design capacity apparently of 1.25 gigawatt hours at the start, the first production line will be the first gigawatt hour level new solid state battery production line. Compared with traditional batteries, solid state batteries are safer, says Cherry, more environmentally friendly, and the energy density will be greatly improved. He says will because it's not yet. That's really kind of um, a relevant point here. Don't get me wrong, these batteries are good, but they're just not as good, nowhere near as good as what I think people would have expected. The energy density of these batteries, they say, will exceed 280 watt hours per kilogram. Now, if they've given the number of 280, it might be 285. But anyway, 285 watt hours per kilogram of energy density is well below um, what other companies are working on. Factorial, you know, numerous solid state batteries around the world that are coming from different manufacturers, say Samsung, they're at like 300, 400, even 500 watt hours per kilogram of energy density. So the energy density is good. I mean, that's still nearly double the energy density of a BOD blade battery, but it's similar. It's only slightly higher energy density than a Tesla 4680 battery cell. But the company claims that their next generation solid state batteries, which will be launched in 2025, maybe the end of 2025, not sure of the dates there, will have an energy density of over 400 watt hours per kilogram. That would be a huge jump up. And obviously if they had that battery today, then they'd probably be making that battery, but they don't, I don't think. 
The third generation, though, they say, will be launched in 2027 and have an energy density of 500 watt hours per kilogram. Now, assuming that Cherry and numerous other manufacturers have solid state batteries with an energy density of 500 watt hours per kilogram, this would then mean 2027, 2028, potentially around that period in time, we are going to see pickup trucks with easily 700 miles of range, easily well over a thousand kilometers of range. They will be commonplace. Can you see why um, actually EVs will take over much, much quicker than what people think? I mean, imagine being a pickup truck driver and being told that your diesel powered pickup truck with a pretty large diesel or petrol gas ta tank has less range, even less range towing than an EV. That's what will happen. Sounds crazy, but that is actually what will happen. There's huge advantages to an, an EV running costs, braking. You don't have to, you don't have to, you know, you don't have to pay for braking for brake pads and brake discs and rotors. Plus, efficiency is way better. Going down a hill, you can recover all that energy you've lost. Being able to charge your EV. By 2027, 2028, 29, there will be so many fast chargers in multiple countries around the world. The United States, Europe, Australia, China. They are building massive numbers of fast chargers. So people are not going to be saying, oh, I can't find a charger. That's not going to be the case. So if you combine that with the fact that solid state batteries can potentially charge much faster than non-solid state batteries. Possibly up to 800 kilowatt charging speeds is what I'm hearing. And therefore around a five minute charge. If you look at all that and put that all together, you've got to say internal combustion, gasoline cars, diesel cars, they will actually go extinct much quicker than what people realize. It's like a, a technological a combination of different technologies combining together. The other key here is this, the cost of battery production. The cost approximately goes down by 20% for every doubling in production or every doubling in investment spent. So the cost of batteries is going down. There's other numerous reasons why battery costs are falling as well. Put all of this together, I think the key takeaway here is that companies like Toyota who are fairly arrogant, believe that EVs will never be relevant, never be more than 30% of all global car sales, they're not really considering these new battery factories. They're not really considering this technological cost curves we're seeing, reductions in price and improvements in the technology. According to ANWA, the company Cherry is able to shorten the battery production process from 11 steps to five. And this eliminates the processes of baking, compaction, slitting, die cutting, drying, and liquid injection. Also, it involves dry manufacturing of the positive and negative electrodes. Interesting, they have adopted Tesla's dry manufacturing process of the both positive and negative electrodes. So while Tesla's been struggling to work that out, Cherry, we're doing the same thing. I wonder how Tesla feels about that. The result is a 30% reduction in fixed asset investment and a 20% reduction in energy consumption for manufacturing. Kind of um, somewhat you know, proves Tesla's point that dry electrodes were very, very important and they do represent a large cost reduction if you're able to pull that off. Here's what Kanye's trying to say. If Cherry really is the first company to get such a production line operating, this could be quite a coup for the company. There is no shortage of car companies, including Toyota, Hyundai, Volkswagen, and Mercedes-Benz, looking to solid state batteries as a game changer and investing huge amounts of money, whether that's in their own so-called solid state batteries, which to be honest, have never been seen yet, or in solid state batteries from other companies, which are looking very legitimate. For example, Samsung have solid state batteries being tested by numerous car manufacturers right now. There's also battery producers like Cadel who have solid state batteries in pre-production and they'll be looking at Cherry saying, hang on a minute, we need to pull our fingers out. Uh, we're behind a little bit here. Cherry looks to be ahead of some other car manufacturers. We're behind a little bit. We need to invest more. I think this news will drive a lot of, a, a massive amount of investment into solid state batteries. And when we start seeing them in cars and we start seeing they're real and they're not mythical, they're actually, they're real and they work, we're gonna see more, more investment. And I think that will mean the cost to produce them will go down over the next five years, making them a very viable option. I'm excited about this. Are you guys? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Thanks for watching.